nigga, I turn nothing into something. My head was in that pot, I was tryna make something. Oh yeah, these niggas be fake, so I'm watching these niggas clutching my pistol, tryna slide on me, then I'm gon' kill him. I'm not tryna kick it, niggas be fake. Yo, 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 yo. I said, hold up. You better not be watching my intro like no damn watchman. Are, are you are you the neighborhood watch, bro? If you one of those people that worry about my intro, stop watching me like the damn neighborhood watch, bro. I know you have some of y'all not the neighborhood watch. But anyways, straight into today's video, y'all. The badge lineup I got right here is simply the badge lineup I run on 2v2s. Now you can bring it to threes, but I'm showing you guys a badge lineup that you can strictly run on twos. And um, don't mind me, I'm just messing around with that right there thinking about it because I'm taking a lot more fadeaways now. Now, like I said guys, if you look at my old videos, I'm a fadeaway god, bruh. I am a shot creator at heart and everything all in that direction, that's what I am. That's what I am at heart. But you know, this year 2K, at first the fadeaways were OP and then they nerfed them. So I kind of just wasn't a fan of it this year, but I'm back on it guys. This is the lineup that I'm gonna run on twos from now on. It only makes me more versatile. I had on Green Machine on twos, but I really don't need it because I pretty much know my jump shot. And um, once you turn off your meter and you have on Volume Shooter, you get you get a significant boost anyway. So you really don't need Green Machine at all. And I get a lot of greens as you guys are gonna see in the gameplay. I get a lot of greens anyways. But um, these are what my stats would look like at 99.9, .9, like I said before. Really good stats. Look at the physicals. Everything is good. I really have no weaknesses at all on offense or defense. I even have a really good rebound. So if I wanted to, I could put rebound chaser on gold or something. But I like to keep Tyler's defender on, especially on twos, because the screens are just so repeated. Like you repeatedly get screens, so I just like to have that. My animations are literally the same. Nothing changed. Everything is literally the same. But regardless of everything being the same, y'all already know I gotta come through and show y'all the animations because, like I said. There's always new viewers and uh, new people come to the channel. So like I said, if y'all new to the channel, y'all just seeing this, make sure y'all leave a like on the video, hit that subscribe button, hit the noti bells, because I'm coming with videos every single day. Now I see right here the shot meter. You turn the shot meter off when you learn your jump shot. Don't turn it off just because, um, because you'll get penalized really heavily when you don't get a green release or a good release. So once you figure your jump shot out really good, then that's when you turn your shot meter off. This is how much VC I have. I did have a little bit more in the previous video, I think, but I spent like 30K on boost because I was getting so annoyed with what was happening. I just had to try to do something to make it better. So I had to um, spend 30K on boost, but you already know what I did. I got back to the my career, got back to grinding the park and all that. But um, yeah, this gameplay right here is a little bit cut off, but I started recording once I realized I can get a gameplay out of this. Now y'all see the badges that I got, uh, volume shooter. Look at that, guys. I don't even have Tyler Shooter, but I'm still getting greens, bro. Like, me having the meter off, difficult shots, and then me fading away, it makes for the perfect thing. But y'all see me get into the rack right there for Nessin, hop step to the basket. You see, Volume Shooter is activating on everything. So, as long as you have it on silver, I think, I think it's going to work pretty good as long as every other badge is Hall of Fame. You could go difficult shots gold, Volume Shooter uh, gold, but I feel like it's better to have difficult shots on Hall of Fame. Um, that's just for me personally, you know what I mean? That's me for, for me personally. I don't know what it'll be for you guys, but yeah, you see me taking all the fadeaways. I should miss that one right there, yeah. So basically, with this lineup right here, all I really do, guys, is just take a lot of fadeaways and take the threes when they're there. The way I was playing before, I was only taking threes and jumpers, and it was working, but I would run into situations where I played certain lineups that were OP, that it would just, we, they would get the better of us, and it's not gonna happen like that anymore. I'm on another level on twos now like I was in the past. So I, there's not really much I gotta worry about. But um, I'm trying to think about the main stuff. Okay, so yeah, you guys see the badge lineup I showed you earlier. Um, this is what I'm using in this gameplay right here. Now, 2v2, this is perfect for 2v2. Having the difficult shots activate. Volume shooter is gonna boost your shot percentages. You see me shooting six for eight, so I'm shooting a really good percentage right now. Um, yeah, that's what volume shooter does now. For defense, you guys understand why now I have picked Dodger on Hall of Fame, uh, Tyler Defender on gold, because you're gonna constantly be running into screens. Now you could put Tyler Defender on Hall of Fame. I do always cycle back and forth between that. And I think, I i don't know, I think Tyler Defender Hall of Fame might actually be better. It might actually be better simply because 
when you get on defense on twos you're gonna have to exert a lot of energy um, do not spam turbo but you'll end up having to press it a lot because you'll find yourself having to catch back up to the to person you're guarding because their center setting so many screens like right there and I have picked out your Hall of Fame and some of the times it doesn't even fully activate like I am getting around pretty easily right there for the most part but some games I'll play some centers that don't even have pick Dodger and they're just killing me on screens and for me to have such a high defense like I think my boy Steve is using defensive leader and that means right now my uh, I think he's using defensive leader on about gold so that means my perimeter defense is a 92 my lateral quickness is a 92 so I'm an elite defender I'm not just an average or, or, or a normal defender I'm an elite defender so an elite defender I should say but that's what I am so I should definitely be getting the better of those screens like it doesn't matter even if the player has a Hall of Fame brick wall I still have a mixture of pick dodger and Titus defender so those shouldn't be affecting me that much but a layup like right there just pisses me off because I don't understand how that's 77% contested. Y'all see me getting pissed off right there just taking it to the rack, finishing the dunk. Yo, if y'all enjoying the gameplay so far, drop a like. Yo, let me know y'all comments down below what y'all think about um, me using difficult shots on this build. Cause I know a lot of people have been waiting for that. They've been saying like, yo, um, can you use difficult shots? I've seen that and trust me guys, I've been wanting to use it, but I've held back on it simply because of just how broken the fadeaways were at, at a point in time when they got patched. As he gets an illegal screen right there, thank God. Usually that animation right there, it'll result in me just getting completely stuck. But thank God 2K didn't do it that time. Cause 2K could be, like I said, guys, 2K could be weird at times. But you see me doing the little quick first step, just getting the ball, going to the rack, hitting them with the hop step. That's why I always use fancy footworks, guys. For those that are wondering what fancy footworks does, that's what it does right there. It helps you with hop step layups and dunks. But you see me getting the green right there. And it's just too easy, y'all. It's just too easy. Once I get, like, I don't know why I waited so long to put difficult shots on. I really don't know why I waited so long. That's definitely on me. I should have been put difficult shots on a long time ago because, yo, boys, I'm out here, bro. I even got some stage gameplay for you guys. We definitely did go to the stage and run up a couple of games. So if y'all want to see stage gameplay, drop a like, bro. Most importantly, I need you guys to hit the notification bell, though. Once you subscribe, you got to hit the notification bell because YouTube is just really weird with noties sometimes. It just randomly shuts off and in this gameplay right here y'all see i'm 80 percent but um now currently i'm at 90 percent to superstar one so i'm gonna get that 90 percent for y'all only 10 more percent to go all it takes is a really good streak but um like i said guys it's, it's been pretty difficult to get games i'm not gonna lie y'all it's been difficult to get games but i'm um, just taking a look at my stats right here um, this is what it is in this gameplay right here I don't think I even had that plus one boost because like I said guys or if you guys don't know once you get 99.9 .9, you have to actually maintain it and win a lot of games because even if you lose one game and you're still 99.9 .9, 2k will demote you with those plus one stats so you'll end up only having plus four instead of plus five but um yeah for the most part it does work you see right here volume shooter guys this is what the badges are right here that lineup right there it works I had to look at it in awe because I'm like bro I don't know what took me so long to just switch over but I finally decided to switch over and um you guys gonna see that but yeah this is what usually happens y'all I gotta show you how to live gameplay in effect like live in effect bro the full effects of it everything because like I said guys if you're not a youtuber and I'm pretty sure every obviously everyone else know this but if you're not a YouTuber, or you don't got that logo over your head of a Twitch or a YouTube sign, it's extremely difficult to get games. That's why 3v3 Pro-Am is just like, it's just a goal, bro. You get back-to-back -back games. You don't got to worry about this and that. 3v3 Pro-Am is where it's at. The park, you got to run around, wait for people to get games. And if you guys don't know, the connection in park is terrible compared to the connection in 3v3 Pro-Am. Since it's matchmaking in 3v3 Pro-Am, the connection is a lot better, the game's more smooth, you shoot a lot easier because you get the real effect of your jump shot. When you're playing in a park, you gotta deal with frame drops and all this extra stuff that shouldn't even be in the game. And it's sad, like, it's sad because the game wasn't like this, guys. It wasn't like this, but after a couple of updates, they simply just mess the game up. Like, that's what 2K does every single year. They update the game and it just messes it up. If you guys don't know, this little stupid Halloween update, like, 
I mean, in the past we asked for it, but nowadays it's kind of like we just want parts. But they added the Halloween update and it only just came with problems. Like, if you go play on the orange court in the background right there, where you can see the haystack, you'll lag. It's, it's, it's terrible. Like, it's... Words can't even explain it sometimes, y'all. I can't even kid. I can't even lie to y'all. Words can't even explain it sometimes. It just sucks that 2K continues to do this to the consumers. Like I said, I started tweeting out a lot. Like I don't, I don't ever tweet on my Twitter, bro. But I'm just getting my voice out there, bro, because I'm getting annoyed. I'm getting tired of the same BS or bullshit every single damn year. It's annoying as hell. Like I don't care if LD2K is not in charge of this and that. I don't care if Mike Wayne's not in charge of this and that. If you're a part of the 2K brand, I'm gonna spread the message to you. You know what I mean? I don't care who's in charge of what because at the end of the day, you guys are promoting the game. So y'all need to hear what we have to say because it's it's bad. It's bad, it makes no damn sense. But y'all see me getting the fader right there in the beginning. Um, and the way how I play now is just fully changed on too. It's like, I'm just looking for the fadeaway. The jump shot's gonna come. I want them to be thinking about the fadeaway, but the jump shot's gonna come. My boy Steve taking the three. If you guys are wondering why he's taking that three, he does have about a 74 three point shot or a 75 with his glass lock. Um, he made it to where he could shoot to be versatile. You know what I'm saying? Just to be versatile. You don't wanna just be one dimensional on this game. I mean, you can in certain aspects, You like if you're a play shot creator, um, you're gonna get steals because if you spam, not even a play shot creator, offensive threats. If you're an offensive threat, you're probably bound to get a steal, bro. All you gotta do is just spam and they'll give you a steal. Why? I do not know. 2K is extremely broken. They'll give you a steal anyway, so it doesn't make sense, guys, but yo, it is what it is. You feel me? I'm not really, it is what it is. But you see me coming off the top of the um, play right there, I'm trying to get the ball, but they're not really letting me get it. It's all good, though. I'm going to come off the pick right here. I should have an easy fader right there, and I'm greening, bro. That's the difference right there. That's the huge difference right there with me having Difficult Shots Hall of Fame and an even rain extender volume shooter. And if you guys don't know, rain extender is not only for three-point shots, guys. It's for the deep mid-rangers, too. Like, in that area that I took the mid-range and I missed, um, rain extender activates out there, too, because... They got rid of, uh, what was it called? I think it was called Midrange Dead Eye. Yeah, I think it was called Midrange Dead Eye. They got rid of that and kind of merged it with Limitless Range so they end up coming up with Range Extender. I mean, it's basically the same thing. Like We already went through this with the badges, but it's basically the same thing. Not much of a difference, just two badges merged with a different meaning. You see me get into Rack right there. It's pretty e Yo, it's too easy, bro. Who said I don't got the best build? And yo, if y'all made it this far in the video, just simply type support. If y'all made it this far in the video, type support because y'all showing true love, bro. All those people that, all you, I know there's a lot of you guys that watch my videos to this point. If you stick around for my videos to, from beginning to end, just simply put support and I'll just like your comment or I'll reply to you. Cause if y'all look at all my videos, I reply to every single comment, y'all. If y'all think I'm joking, go look at my videos. About 95% of my comments I reply to. I show support back. You get what I'm saying? It's a, it's a two-way street. I'm not just going to sit here and make videos for you guys and then have you just commenting in the comment section and me not even saying thank you for the support or anything like that. Pay attention. Play, pay real close attention to those YouTubers. I don't care if you have a million subs. I don't care if I have a million subs. Um, I'm going to like as many comments as I can. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, it won't show up for a lot of people because it's a million damn subscribers with about 500,000 viewers. So I can understand that to a certain extent. But if you have a certain amount, it doesn't matter how many subs you have. You got to remember, without the fans, without the supporters, you're nothing. And I'm going to remember that, bro. I know, bro. If I didn't have any subscribers right now, I wouldn't be getting any, I wouldn't be getting any likes. No comments. So trust me, I know, trust me, when I say this, I know how important it is to show that I see your guys' support. That's one thing you guys are gonna, are gonna see, I promise y'all that. As y'all continue to watch my videos and like my videos, subscribing and all that, and just keep on keeping up with me, you're gonna see that I show you guys support. And trust me guys, if I had a lot of money, I would do a lot of giveaways, but I just don't have money like that yet. Um, this past month has been the best month that I've had on YouTube. I can say that honestly, but just know guys, once I'm in a position to where I can just constantly do giveaways, I'll definitely do that for y'all. Like PSN giveaways, 
uh, I'll do all that for y'all because I definitely want to show you guys the support back and just really show how much I appreciate the support you guys give me but um yeah that's pretty much it for the gameplay the gameplay is almost over but yeah just just know guys this build can literally do it all you can make it to how you want to make it if you want to just do a lot of shot creating you can put the badges for that if you want to make sure you can do the badges like how I have them having it um, with difficult shots Hall of Fame volume shooter and stuff like that because especially when you're playing twos you do need volume shooter because as the guard you're supposed to take the majority of the shots so you just want the best chance possible you could go hall of fame volume shooter and silver difficult shots if you have that much confidence in your difficult shots but me personally I, like me personally i just want to maximize the chances for that but like i said y'all that's pretty much it you see me dropping 14 points first game i dropped like 20 points i don't have to really take threes like that anymore because um, I've been there, done that. I've been shooting like a sharp all year long. It's time to get back to the fadeaways like how it was earlier in the year um, and just deal with it. I'm going to deal with it. We just have to deal with it. Like I said, guys, I'm, I don't know how much I'm going to be playing 2K. Like, I don't know if I'll be streaming ever again, honestly. But I do know that I'm going to come at, come at y'all with videos every day and content every day. That's not going to stop. I can't leave y'all in the dust like that. This build is too fire for me not to drop content for y'all. So if y'all want to see more videos in the future, make sure that you leave a like on this video. Comment your thoughts down below. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload. It's an all year thing. It's your boy Jerry Ranks, and I'm out. I'm not trying to kick it, niggas be fake, so I'm keeping my distance. That shit turned to a habit, you don't really know the feeling. No, you don't. You don't really know the feeling. No, you don't. No, you don't. And that's a